Okay, so in the Bible, <coughs> in the Bible, um, Jesus says that, um, first of all, he lays out everything he did for you. Twelve people do. He's got twelve personal assistants. And they're taking notes on everything he says and does. They're fucking writing it down. Twelve people, twelve different angles, writing down the same basic shit. Whoever seems to be with them is writing this shit down or remembering it, writing it down later. That's the New Testament. Cheap people following. Jesus Christ around him writing this shit down. Everything he says and does. Now they called it miracles and stuff, but whatever. They were having a good time. They call it anything they want. Uh, okay, so Jesus told you everything you needed to know, and he also said, greater things will you do than I have done. Okay, so that means we're going to think of more elaborate shit to do than he did, that's all. You know, and we can call it a miracle too if we want to. You know, whatever works. That's 2,000 years ago. I'd rather call it a Houdini experience or something. Um, so, in that train of thought, Jesus Christ explaining everything he ever said or did and uh, promising us a, that we could walk in his footsteps and do even better things. It's hard to believe. But you have to walk in his footsteps, right? So, is that? Um, but Bruce Lee did the same thing for us. He showed us everything we needed to, to know to be Bruce Lee killer fighting machines. And he went out there and proved that he was the best fighter on the planet. And it's undisputed. Anybody in Bruce Lee's weight range, with, and you can add 10 pounds to whatever his body weight was, you know, honestly, he could take anyone on the planet you know, if he had to, I'm pretty sure. If it was a no mercy situation, you know. Um, but those are always, you know, left up to fate. Or I don't know, you train for it, but who knows who's ever really going to win in a fight. You don't know, and that's why great fighters don't ever fight. Smart thinkers who fight uh, prefer not to fight because everybody knows that you don't know for sure if you're going to win in a fucking fight. I mean, look what... Um, Look what Muhammad Ali did. I think it was George Foreman. And he was 99 to 1 <laughs> to lose that fucking fight. He wasn't going to beat George Foreman. George Foreman never said a word. He just trained. <laughs> he was the world champion. Fucking Muhammad Ali came along and fought him and beat him. Took a pounding, but he beat him. <laughs> Took like 10 rounds or something, I forget. It's a great documentary about that out. You should watch it. I mean, it's good information. Um, but what Bruce Lee did for us was show us how to train so we could be Bruce Lee's. He told us how to think and what to do. So if he did all that, he probably got a pretty strong fighting game, you know. And then as a smart thinker, we know not to fight unless we have to. Self-defense. Because it's like you know, ballet, but bones get broke and fucking people have to go to the hospital and shit, so you be careful when you use it and you're always going to have to answer to the cops you know, that you were just defending yourself, and you're going to have to explain what happened and you're typically going to always take a punch or it's going to take the first punch because no matter how much they bluff the punch you know, you got to take the punch you can take the first punch. No, so if they come with a bluff to check you and see if you're going to fucking fight, throw a bunch at them, uh, they may stop the punch. So you give them a chance to do that, other or either that or you take the first punch. Pretty much when you get to third degree black belt in Jeet Kune Do, you're going to take the first punch, but you should never be in a situation where you have to take a punch. But situations are unpredictable and I mean if you're real good you can feign the first punch you can feign it if somebody jacks with you you know if they jerk you around yeah you can fucking defend yourself 
You know, they might be playing, but you're not. So fuck you, you know? You fucking flinch at me, motherfucker. You might.